So here's the frustration. Whenever you're doing something that involves a lot of brushing like dodging and burning that I'm doing right now, or even removing blemishes, we zoom in and zoom out a lot, right? And to do that, we hold the control or command and the space bar. Sometimes by accident while we are doing this, we can only hold the control or command and forget to press the space bar. And if we move it a little bit to the right hand side, everything moves. Now, as you're zoomed in and you're working with your work, you might not realize it and you might continue to do dodging and burning in many of the areas just to figure out that when you zoom out, your life has probably become a mess. So how do we take care of this issue? How do we prevent it from moving accidentally so that we don't have to deal with life's frustrations? Here's how to do it. The secret is using locks. There are lots of locks that you can apply to any kind of layer. So this is the lock that we are talking about. This is the position lock. If you click on it, the position would be locked. You can still paint in, you can still do dodging and burning like I'm doing right now, but you won't be able to move it accidentally. If I just hold the control or command and try to move it, it won't let me move it. That is fantastic. Even if you take the move tool and you try to move it, it won't let me move it. So that is a great tip to make sure that whenever you're dodging and burning or let's say removing blemishes, you won't come across issues. So here we have the remove blemishes layer and we have removed blemishes in a lot of places. Now, if we continue to do so by using the healing brush tool and then we sample this area and we paint on this area and right now it's creating a weird look because it's only sampling the current layer. Make sure it's sampling current and below. So hold the Alt key, the Option key, click to take a sample and then paint. Everything is working fine, but if you accidentally hold the controller command or somehow accidentally move everything, you might not even realize it. At this zoomed level, it's hard to even figure that out. But when you zoom out, some of the areas might look a little odd. And that is because it's moved. To prevent it from moving, here's what you do again. You lock the position, click on it. And now, no matter how many times you try to move it, it won't move. Accidental movement, it won't happen. By the way, to unlock it, simply click on the lock and it will unlock. Another way to unlock is simply clicking at the top and the lock would be deactivated. Another example of using locks is this. So this is our subject. We remove the background and let's say we are working on the mask. So we have selected the mask layer. Here we have the brush black as the foreground color and we are erasing the extras. Let's say I'm erasing this area. That's fine. And I'm bringing back in some areas again. Now, sometimes what happens is we accidentally, instead of selecting the mask, just select the layer. And then when you paint white and black, it might not look like a problem, let's say, if your background is black. So let's say you have a black background and you're just painting with black and everything seems to be nice. But when you just open this layer, when you turn off the mask, you see that, oh my gosh, I have destroyed the layer. And after that, if you have done a thousand steps, you're stuck. Don't worry, you don't have to get stuck anymore. Here's what to do. Let's go back. And this time you can use, you guessed it right, the brush lock. Click on it, take the brush. And if you accidentally select the layer, it just won't let you paint. However, if you select the mask, you can paint all you want. Now you might be wondering, what about the other locks? The other locks can be important, but not as much. Let's say we already applied the mask or this was a transparent layer, something like this, all right? Now here you have the transparency lock layer. If you click on it, if you take the brush and if you paint anything, it won't paint on the transparent areas, but it will only paint on areas which are not transparent. But again, this is a destructive way of doing it. Why do it when you can just use clipping masks? So let's unlock the layer, simply create a new layer, hold the Alt key or the Option key and click on the line between these two layers. You can also use the shortcut Control Alt G, Command Option G. And then you can just paint whatever you want, wherever you want, and the advantage is it's on a separate layer. You can erase it if you want. You can paint in different color. You can add any adjustment. So all I wanted to say is that lock transparency might not be that useful. And this one is only useful if you're using artboards. So let's create an artboard. So this is our first artboard. All right. And if we select this layer and click on this button, now you just cannot move this here. It won't let you do that. But if this is unchecked, you can move it to a different artboard. So that is possible. So this is artboard one. And let's say we create one more artboard so that it's clearer to you. So you can take this layer and actually move it to whatever artboard you like. But if you activate this button, it will prevent it from going into other artboards or frames. So no matter how much we try, it's just not going to artboard two. But if we deactivate it, you can bring it to artboard two. And lastly, you have the lock all function. If you click on it, it's just like having every one of them activated. That's just it. 
And at any point of time to unlock everything, you can either click here or you can just click on this one. So that's all about locks in Photoshop. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. What can I do?